This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. Welcome back to another Truth Nugget here on Friday, March 15th. We're going to be taking a look at Spurgeon's devotional, his classic devotional here, based on 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Christ has grace without measure in himself, but he hath not retained it for himself. As the reservoir empties itself into the pipes, so hath Christ emptied out his grace for his people. Of his fullness hath all we received, and grace for grace. He seems only to have in order to dispense to us, He stands like the fountain, always flowing, but only running in order to supply the empty pitchers and thirsty lips which draw nigh unto it. Like a tree, he bears sweet fruit, not to hang on bows, but to be gathered by those who need. Grace, whether its work be to pardon, to cleanse, to preserve, to strengthen, to enlighten, to quicken or to restore, is ever to be had from him freely and without price. Nor is there one form of the work of grace which he has not bestowed upon his people. As the blood of the body, though flowing from the heart, belongs equally to every member, so the influences of grace are the inheritance of every saint united to the Lamb. That's an excellent point there to remember. So the influences of grace are the inheritance. Are Go away. Let me continue. Okay. So the influ- influences of grace are the inheritance, inheritance of every saint united to the Lamb. And herein there is a sweet communion between Christ and his church. Inasmuch as they both receive the same grace, Christ is the head upon which the oil is first poured. But the same oil runs to the very skirts of the garments, so that the meanest saint has an unction of the same costly moisture as that which fell upon the head. This is true communion when the sap of grace flows from the stem to the branch, and when it is perceived that the stem itself is sustained by the very nourishment which feeds the branch. As we day by day receive grace from Jesus and more constantly recognize it as coming from him, we shall behold him in communion with us, and enjoy the felicity of communion with him. Another good line to remember. As we day by day receive grace from Jesus, and more constantly recognize it as coming from him, we shall behold him in communion with us, and enjoy the felicity of communion with him. Let us make daily use of our riches and ever repair to him as to our own Lord in covenant, taking from him the supply of all we need with as much boldness as men take money from their own purse. Let's always remember the grace of God and how we need his grace continually in order to live this Christian life and walk in a way that is worthy of what he has called us to. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for today's Truth Nugget. I hope that was a blessing. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button to subscribe. If you're new here, these are every day, Monday through Friday. Also, take a look at Truth Transforms on this channel as well. Should be some content there that you enjoy. Hope you have a good Lord's Day and weekend. God bless you, and I will see you next week. Truth Nuggets are a ministry of preaching for God's glory. To find out more about other resources available and ways that you can support the ministry, be sure to visit preachingforgodsglory.org.